Hello there, I wanted to give you guys an update as of Monday, March 23rd, 2020 here in Las Vegas. And we know obviously that this is a worldwide situation, what's happening right now as of this date. But um, I wanna talk about our local market and how um, it's affecting the real estate market of course, and how it's also affecting our partner companies like title, lenders, and those kind of things. But first I wanna talk about the numbers. And I just, just went into the, to my uh, computer and actually pulled the numbers from the multiple listing service. So these are actual active real numbers. And I'm only focusing on Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas. So as of today, Monday, March 23rd, 2020, there are 4,955 homes that are currently listed. And that number actually went up since last week. Um, there's 3,777 homes that are currently under contract, and there are 1,786 homes that just closed month to date. Now, last Friday, there were a total of 89 that actually homes that closed, and there is a total of 189 homes that went on the market. So that's actually pointing to the fact that there are still people that are wanting to sell and there obviously are people that are still wanting to close on their on their escrows and there are people that are that are still probably out there trying to figure out a way to still qualify for a loan. I've talked to many lenders and I'm also, also talking to title companies. So let me tell you a little bit about what those um, people are saying. I just got off the phone with my friend Roxy Robinson at Drake's Title. Um, I have a few other title companies that I, that I work with because being a seller's um, agent I don't necessarily have the opportunity to pick the title company because it's always a buyer's choice. So I end up working with different title companies a lot of times. And I've had an opportunity to you know, work with, with uh, Roxy, but also learn a lot from her. And I gave her a call because I kind of wanted to know exactly what the way, how are they handling this situation. One of the things that Roxy said was that there are in all different states, obviously, a lot of you obviously already know this, but in a lot of different states, there's they conduct business a little bit differently. So for example, New York is an attorney state. You have to have an attorney there present in order to be able to do a signing. And in California, their title and escrow are two separate entities. So it's been a little bit in this, in this situation in these days, has been a little bit difficult to kind of put those two together right before signing. And so it's been taking a little bit longer. Um, but here in Nevada, title and escrow are one entity. And our recorder's office is actually still doing e-recordings. The title companies have sent most of their workers home, but as Roxy was saying, they're used to working from home, a lot of them, because the owners have actually designed it that way. So they're still doing conducting business from home. Sellers are able to sign doing a Zoom call and actually through a mobile notary, they're able to do virtual signatures. The only thing that we're still kind of working out is the fact that some lenders are still um, working out the kinks to be able to do some virtual signings with their buyers to be able to then, once the docs are signed, take it either to an actual title company that still has a few workers at their office or that the title company can send a mobile notary to the buyer. But all the kinks are being worked out. Um, I just spoke to another one of my lenders that I'm, that I'm also working with, um, Brandon Ellison. He's from Fairway Independent Mortgage. And he uh, uh, basically explained that some loans are being able to be done virtually as far as conventional loans go, but FHA and VA are not as of yet. So um, those are the updates from some of my partners. So as a seller, your question is probably, well, are there buyers still out there for me uh, if I list my house? And one thing you need to consider is the fact that yes, there have been a lot of layoffs for people that have been in a contract for anything to do with the entertainment industry, but that's not to say that they're not gonna go back to work. And obviously lenders will be able to see that the gap it was just during this time. So they'll be able to purchase again. There's also programs that are still available. They're, they're kind of dwindling, but they're still available. There's one program that I was really working on and excited about, which was called Hope Brings You Home. That program is still available for some zip codes um, that helps the buyers and, um, and qualifies them to help them you know, to purchase a home. So um, if you're a seller that absolutely still needs to sell, consider the fact that there are people that still qualify as long as they're not directly affected. They may be in a line of industry like medical industry or, or maybe it's a cash buyer. So you can still get an offer for your home. 
And as a buyer, you just need to make sure that you talk to a great lender that can show you the programs and show you what's going on because right now we still have really low rates and so it's a possibility that things may change down the road. But what we do know today is that you have great rates, that there is inventory available. Definitely if it's something that you are, you had a goal to purchase a home, we can still help you. So hope that answers some of your questions and definitely stay positive through these times. I think that's the most important thing. No, don't let the fear stop you from doing things. Actually really take a look at the facts and the numbers and what is happening here. Stay healthy, be safe, follow protocol, but continue doing your life. I and mean, you like last weekend, we actually did a lot of fun things and it was, it was more about trying to find ways and solutions to, to continue having a normal life. We went running, we worked out at home, we cooked at home, and it was actually kind of fun. So um, try to do that with your family, but also try to do that with your clients so that everyone can actually get through this with a more positive attitude. So like I said, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact me directly, 702-271-6871, or please join my channel because I will be update, updating more information as time progresses. Again, subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.